Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. I showed you a tray in the photo. Oh, things are gonna fall over right here. Today is the final look at my um, makeup drawers. My eye's gonna tear right now. Um, but as I was starting to film the drawers, I was like, I need to be cutthroat. So all of this that you saw is being decluttered also. So I'm going to go through this super fast and then I'll take you on a quick little tour. Foundation wise, I'm going to part with my Becca foundations as they are a little bit old and I don't grab for them. And I'm also going to get rid of both of my Anastasia foundations. I don't tend to use them. I think I've used them a few times. So I've used my Il Maquillage or my Yenso or the Hyde foundation, things that are better suited for me personally. Um, I'm going to declutter the Ophra. It's almost gone. So I'm just going to declutter it and, and be done. I'm going to get rid of the LYS primer. Um, did I get rid of other primers? I don't know. So then I'm just going to grab stuff out. I'm going to get rid of my uh, comp Plex Culture um, Clarity Setting Powder. There is some uh, oh, primer from Pink Lips. This is a soft matte primer, and this is pink. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the Rachel Couture Translucent Powder that was in, like, here's Translucent, the powder. If I'm not going to grab for them, I'm going to get rid of them. From Wet n Wild, I have two of these, the Mega Cushion. And this is the color correcting um, product. Let me open this up. I, I didn't show, show you this. Is this the one I used or not used? I don't have a clue. I think this is the other one. I don't know. I used to use these often and these were in my um, in my bathroom. And I mean, I can never get these open. That one's brand new. So I'll show you this one. This works well, comes with, oh, a little like sponge that I have used and it does have a sealed top and this is actually you can see like not really any good anymore but this um, is like a sponge it is a sponge and you just sponge it out it gets on your finger and um, it does see this one is no good I can just tell because it did absolutely nothing it didn't put down any color so I'm glad I'm going to declutter the other one probably is still good because it's never been opened but I don't find that I'm pulling for these, so I'm getting rid of both of those. Um, this primer, as much as I liked it, I just don't grab for it. I'm not really sure if I want to get rid of it or not, to be honest with you. I, I mean, I yes and no. This is from, I think, Dew of the Gods, the Tahitian Breakfast Dewy Collagen Primer. I mean, it is nice. I don't know if I'm getting rid of some primers and not others. I don't know if I should keep this one. It comes out like that. It really is a nice primer. Am I making a mistake on this one? Mm, smells so good. I think I'm, you know what? I think I'm going to keep that one because I did like that. And I'll get rid of the others. Um, I'm going to get rid of the, I have two of these, the Ace Butte Eyeshadow Base in Light. I have two. I kept one. Um, I have two of these from Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow primer. Thank me later. I'm getting rid of one that's half gone. Um, blush. I'm going to part with this. The Rachel Couture liquid blush. Haven't really been pulling for it. So it's going to go. I'm going to get rid of this uh, cream blush from Ciate. This little tiny one. I'm going to get rid of that. Other blushes. Highlighter. highlighter. I'm going to get rid of the Wander Beauty liquid. And this is double date. And then the bottom was, um, ooh, what I just did, stuck my finger in it. That's a gloss. And the other one is, uh, I just stuck my finger in that. Let's get that on my hand. Um, I, I don't find I'm using it. I'm going to get rid of highlighters, Young Vision. It's more too pinky for me. And I'm going to get rid of this Ocalon 3D Glow Highlighter. Don't think I'll use it. Pure Cosmetics. This is uh, Midnight Kiss. Never get these open. Highlighter. It's got too much of a pink reflect in it. From Ofra, I'm going to get rid of this blush. And this is um, 
Bellini. I don't tend to grab for that. I'm going to get rid of this Becca highlighter. This is old right here. I do like this, but it's old. And it can't, it's a little tiny. So I'm going to part with that. Ciate London. This is a blush. And this is Halo, I think. Yep. I don't really grab for it. It's a little too shimmery. Um, I have a Tarte blush. And this one is Moment. And I don't, this is a little too shimmery for me too. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this Alley Oop in Sunkissed. I just don't find, let me turn it, that I'm using this at all. It's a little too dark for me. So I kept the other one. We'll get rid of that. This MOTD blush. And this is Pink Lace. I'm going to get rid of this. I really don't use it. I think I've used it once. And I have others that I would use way more, so I'm going to part with that. Let's get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of this from Sweet Creations, the Sweet Glow. As much as I like these powders, I know I'll never use the blower, the pink. And to keep that for one is not going to happen. It really is not. I'm also going to, I have Milk Makeup, and this is um, Lip and Cheek in, I think it's Work, right here, a little tiny. I kept one. I have two. So right there, I'm going to, I'm not going to keep dupes, even though that's small, but there's a lot of product in there. So I'm going to try to put some of this back on the tray because so it's, it's going to fall over. And then this way I can um, share the rest of this stuff. And then I can quick do a tour. Take all this off. Oops. Oops. It's going to go everywhere. Getting rid of some mascaras and some brow products, surprisingly, right? Okay, let's get all you guys over here. Ugh. Okay. So, little uh, this little blush is from Trustique, and this is um, Moroccan Rose. I'm going to get rid of that. Milk Makeup Masca Rise Mascara Sample, gone. Tarte Big Ego, gone. Man Eater is kind of getting dry, so that's gone. That's mascara. Um, Studio Makeup Brow Tint, and this one is medium brown. Not my little bit off for me. Perfusion Eyeshadow Primer, don't really need it. I'm going to get rid of my Sigma Double Ended Brow Brush. Don't find a grab for it. Lights uh, Camera Lashes is almost gone. Mascara um, from Tarte. And this is Lash Treat. Almost gone. So what am I keeping it for? ABH Brow Tint. This is a little too dark for me. Brown wise. And I'm not grabbing it. And I have used it. So uh, this is new. But I'm still going to toss it. Because I don't know how old it is from Brow Atelier. And this is... a Tinted Brow Gel, not a favorite of mine. My Kevin Aquan mascaras both are going. They're old, and I'm going to get rid of this O2O mascara because I have not even touched it, and I have others that I would rather use first. So everything in here is gone. This I think I'm going to put back in and keep. I do like that, and I love the scent, and that's a great primer. So let me pause this, reset up, and I'll show you what my current makeup collection looks like. Okay, real fast, top drawer, um, lashes, scissors, lash, um, not lash, eyeliner, magnetic, and then like tweezers and stuff like that that I have kept. Next drawer, I have not removed anything from the back, and these are like spare brushes, that kind of stuff, the front here. I did get rid of a few, not many, but clear gels, like brow gels, liners. Next drawer, I'm going to have to pull you all the way out. Like back here are my bigger palettes and some products that I still want to play with to make a decision on. And then these are highlighters and bronzers that I am keeping for now. Oops, let's move you in there. I'm going to have to move the camera down each time. You can see Oreo's toys are right over here. So that's that. Blush, I think I have... I might have to move the camera back a little bit. 
I uh, think that I have cut that down a lot. I have two pa blush palettes, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Natasha Denona, like Tarte. Here's the, you know, things that I am keeping. Um, my new Lawless, Drunk Elephant. This is stuff that I am keeping and will use. Mascaras. You know, I have lash curlers, lash treatments, boxed ones that are still brand new. And then these are the full size. These are the only four samples that I have open. And then these are the rest samples. Well, I guess I need to show you that right here. So once I use these, which are almost done, I'll open up a few of these, like one or two of these, because I have an active one in my bathroom. But, you know, I think one of these, did I use one of these once? I'm not really sure. I think the ColourPop ones. So I want to try to use all them up. So setting powders, my little puffs, you know, and now that's the setting powders. A little bit more manageable, I think. And if I find I'm not using them, I will get rid of them. Here's primers right here. My elf. These are a lot of smaller samples. The primers that I'm keeping right here, Marc Jacobs, Dominique, um, Too Faced. Pink Lips is nice. The um, Beauty Crop, Do of the Gods, one I just put back. A backup, my Grown Alchemist Keys. I love my Yensa and like other like these here on this side are more um, eye bases eye primers eyelid primers here and these are more face primers and then this drawer is now pretty empty let me come down a little bit i cannot wait this rug is getting pulled this summer it's old and i'm gonna get the hardwoods redone and then just put a big area rug down this room is getting painted getting a little uh, beauty room makeover so foundations my studio makeup uh, tinted moisturizer bb cream tinted moisturizer is from bare minerals some samples that i like my yensa foundation is my favorite at the moment rare beauty this is fenty i do believe fenty my hide is good elf and my ill maquillage and then the two sponges that i keep so if i decide to get any other foundations i have plenty of room this and then down here i mean i have all my um harry potter products right there let me come in a little bit since and then these are just my concealers that i'm keeping these none of these i decided to declutter these are all ones that i will use and then all my harry potter stuff is back there that will not get decluttered so that's a quick tour of my makeup collection as it stands i figured maybe i'll give you a little shot of some brushes there um i love these brushes right here these are beautiful brushes so that is a tour the rest of this stuff here let me move over and i'll give you a quick shot of this i'm sorry i'm trying to move a tripod it's not always easy there's all my lawless stuff and we'll come down here I'll move this over so everything in this tray right here is going to be tossed there's nothing there that i will be keeping that i will be sharing products that are all just going to have to go away and like i would have loved to finish some of these up but i have so many and i'm if i'm not going to get to them i'm not keeping it so thanks for watching the makeup declutter series it was three videos and then the final look and i technically none of this was going to go and i went through and said no i have to get rid of more it's still too much um now if i could only do that same thing let me just come out i'm zoomed in here and come down and you can see i don't even think i can get the whole thing in there behind this tray are all my lipsticks it's a problem but it's a problem i love and am not going to declutter that would be i'd be hard pressed to get rid of anything that i have here i have one drawer like this drawer here oh, you know still has room this drawer is empty this drawer is not here, is not full. Like they're not jammed, there's nothing behind. Um, like you can see, you know, Ofra and, and Huda and House Labs, everything has a place. There's nothing behind, double stack, triple stack, none of that good stuff. Um, same thing here, like Too Faced, um, Natasha, Laura Mercier, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, things like that. 
just mm -hmm. keeping them by brand because that is easier for me. I know what I have. And uh, my pride, current pride and joy is right here. Lawless Beauty. And the uh, liners. Look, liners. I'm loving them. And today I did have on, I don't know where I put it, Morocco, I think. Yep, this is the shade that I had on today. Right here. Morocco. I know I mentioned that in a previous video that I filmed today, but I figured I'd share that with you. And this way I can just pull what I want each and every day. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now. Thank you.